Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Amber and I work for the Baltimore County Public Library at the Essex Branch. Today we are going to sweeten our garden by creating seed lollipops. What we will need to make this craft is colored computer paper, a good size bowl, scissors, lollipop treat sticks, but make sure they're paper because paper is biodegradable and will dissolve in the soil over time. The plastic ones will not. And lastly, you want to choose a seed of your own liking. I chose green bean seeds because I have a vegetable garden. Additionally, when I'm doing this craft with my own children, I decided to incorporate fairy tales. Can you think of a main character or main characters that were strengthened by a little bean and that this little bean created magic in the story? You got it! Princess and the Pea and Jack and the Beanstalk are two of my favorites. However, you may choose to fill your lollipop with flower seeds so that one day Thumbelina can come and dance upon your garden. Use this opportunity to delve into fairy tales and enjoy their timeless magic. So let's get started. So the first thing you will need is a bowl and some water. A very small amount of water, probably about three tablespoons. You just pour it into the bowl until it covers the bottom. Then you choose what color of computer paper you would like to use. Then take one of those pieces of the computer paper and begin tearing it into little pieces and tossing it into the water. So eventually you've torn the entire piece of paper into bits of confetti. Now, let the paper soak in there for a little bit. You start to squish it together. Squish it together. Make sure all the little pieces are wet. And you're going to start molding it into the shape, the circular shape of the lollipop. And you can squeeze out the extra water if you've given yourself too much. Or you can always pour more water in. And you sort of want to make it like a little basin or cup shape. And you can dip it back in if you feel like you need more water. You can always tear off more paper. It's up to you. Then once you've made it a little cup shape, like a tulip, you can take your bean or your seed. Now, I'm only doing one seed per lollipop. However, if you are doing flowers, I would say up to three. The other nice thing about this craft is a lot of times when you're planting from seed, you have to soak your seeds for 24 hours at least before you plant them. So this craft does it for you. After you've put the little seed in there, you also want to put your lollipop stick in there and press it and press it and press it around the base of the lollipop stick. And again, add water if you need, but you're sculpting a nice little lollipop and the seed is hidden inside. Put it aside for now and take a second piece of your computer paper and you want to cut it in strips lengthwise, straight up. And you want to cut it, cut the entire paper into strips, just as I have already done. <laughs> Then take one strip of paper at a time and pour it, dip it, excuse me, into the water. Add a little more water if you need it. And make sure the entire strip is covered with water. And you're doing like paper mache. And you take your lollipop, holding it at the base, squeezing and pinching, and you wrap the strips 
around the lollipop. The sweet part. The seed part. And you continue to do that. I put my um, lollipop in a little dish to hold it in between strips so they can maintain its shape. And you do each strip one at a time, around and around, until you feel that it's the nice shape of a lollipop and that the stick itself is held tight into the wet paper. And like I said, you can always dip and mold. Sometimes you need about three strips around, sometimes you need five, it just depends. But you keep doing that until you feel that it's secure. Then you let it sit overnight to dry. And you will eventually have little pops of seeds that you are, can plant in your garden. I want to show you what my children and I created in our backyard so that our seed lollipops have a magical place to grow. Come join me. This is a special place where our seed lollipops are growing along the base of a tunnel. This tunnel was made out of hula hoops, netting, garden hooks, and rubber mulch at its base. And as you can see, our lollipops are going to be growing along the edge and eventually cover the tunnel with leaves for a perfect place to play and read. Please visit BCPL Info for more virtual programs. Take great care.